Thank you for allowing me to be a clear and open channel for your divine guidance. My name is Melanie and this is Merging Timelines. Every Wednesday, we're going to post the videos for my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Today, we're doing the water sign Pisces, Sun and Moon Viewers. I always read for the Sun and Moon Viewers. My, si my channel sorry, is, devel is developed for personal development. I am just going to um, start. Look at you coming out, Pisces, already as I'm cutting your deck. Just getting a little bit of energy floating through the cards for some good messages for you today. Um, I want to say thank you so much if you are a subscriber for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't, no better time than now. <laughs> but if you want to stay tuned, I promise I will be worthy. Pisces, I love your energy. I love your energy. So, I don't know. It's so adventurous, but it's not like a Sag. It's in a very loving way. Like you have a ongoing romantic adventure in, in, in mind. Like it just wants to keep f unfolding with this bigger and bigger, I don't even know how to say it, just bigger and bigger surprise or just satisfaction. Wow. Anyways, I'm going on with my Pisces sun and moon viewers. Thank you again for allowing me to be a clear and open channel for you. <clears throat> At this time, I'm going to ask spirit. Please spirit, help me to deliver these messages. Help me to tell Pisces what they need to see, hear, know, and feel at this time. Pisces, what's most important? What's the most important messages? What do you need to see, hear, know, and feel at this time? My Pisces, Pisces viewers. <clears throat> Pisces. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut the bottom of your deck, Pisces. Pisces, 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 sun and moon viewers. Bottom of the deck, there's something on your mind, something that required a lot of attention, a lot of detailed attention, but you, I don't know, for some reason it's not quite with you right now. It's not something you're interested in. It's not something that you're invested in. But it's on your mind. It's your overall energy. It's what's keeping you where you're at today, I would say. Huh? So below that, Aries, Leo, Sag. You could be dealing with a female fire sign or you could be the male um, fire sign and you're dealing with a water sign, Pisces. <clears throat> Either way, I find that if you're the Pisces dealing with this feminine energy, you're finding yourself inferior to another person's power, another person's actions, almost feeling not in the same accord to them, almost feeling as though you would like them to and yourself to make different decisions because you're not quite in alignment with those that come from this person. If this is you as the Pisces, I feel like you would become more empowered in something that you've put behind, in something that you've laid to rest. Um, that one thing that required you to be very detail oriented, I think that that's the thing that's going to give you this spark, this commanding attention all around you if you, if you choose to go that way, okay? All right, so let's go on to your environment is going to talk about the seven of wands. So the seven of wands is saying when it came to feeling blocked in that passionate direction, same thing. I feel like we're talking again about the investment that once upon a time required a lot of attention, required a lot of focus that maybe at that time you didn't have to give to it. Maybe you weren't interested in it at that time. I feel like the flow of energy, the flow of idea, the desire is now going through, going through that, um, maybe that 
let's say that channel that you didn't even think would be back would be something vital for you, you know? Um, <clears throat> here is your heart. So it's now saying again, along with that, I was also um, ignoring the divine direction. And I feel like you are because of your heart. I feel like your heart is now um, involved with something that it's not divinely guided towards, but it's sitting there basically out of familiarity. This to me, Pisces, is saying that I, I feel defenseless and I feel like my choices have, are, have already, I've already made them, Mel. And what can I do? Can I go back? I can't go back on my decision. Yes, you can. The only person who's stopping you from undoing a decision that you made, Pisces, is you. You saying, I made this mistake. Is it a mistake or is it a detour? Or is it to gain a lesson that you probably needed and that's why you're there? But it doesn't mean it's a permanent, permanent situation, okay? It just means that at this time and space, my inner being says I need to be here. And what am I gaining from this rather? What's influencing me to get to my highest timeline from being here? Getting back into feeling as though I would take something very, very seriously if I was to invest in it because I'm passionate about it. Again, that, that energy that was blocked now going through pretty quickly, if I might say, pretty quickly um, within the spiritual and physical realm, but going very, very slow within the material realm because uh, it's like I'm doing something that was already done, right? So this is like I built a building, a building, and this building was missing a certain piece and it came tumbling down. It's gone. No more, Mel, but you can rebuild it. Or maybe it was meant to be built somewhere else. So now you know you can build it. You can build it somewhere else. <laughs> All right, so maybe the doubt, there's another message. Maybe the doubt was that, you know, I don't even know if I can build this. You know, I, I don't even know if I have the ability, if I have the tools, if I, exact, it's the tools. I don't know if I have the tools. Well, you do know that you have them now, right? You just don't feel confident in where you've laid the tools. So here we are again with your current overall energy. This is going to talk to me about the Ace of Cups in the reverse, saying that I'm overwhelmed at this time, Mel. My emotions are invested in so many different people that I, I'm a little tied up right now. You know, I'm a little overwhelmed with how I could even communicate this to you and a little overwhelmed with how I, I admit this to myself that I, as a Pisces, this seems very, very, very similar to your um, dark state, meaning that you tend to act in your darker light when you've in, invested in so many different emotional avenues that are now expecting you to hold that vision that you created and in, in, in introducing it to them and even connecting with them, okay? All right, so that's for you, Pisces. And coming up as your advice, your advice card is going to be the magician in the reverse. Advice, sorry, that's your future representation, the magician in the reverse. And now we'll get your advice. Your advice is going to be the fool in reverse. All right, very good, very good. All right, so let me touch on this future representation. If we are going to say that in the future you you'll have to accept that you're showing up like the magician in the reverse. Maybe having all of the um, tools at your disposal, but not knowing how to use them quite yet. This is like saying that you have a package of sterile, um, sterile tools for a procedure and you're ready to unravel, unfold, but not quite yet. This is being in the part where you're just leaving all the tools in the package because you know they're the right tools. You're just not quite sure how to go about it. And so if your advice is the fool in the reverse, it's saying, look, at some point you do want to step off. You still want to do something very impulsively. You want, it, you want to allow yourself to act a, a bit childish. 
but not at this time. This is not the time to be a child. This is not the time to cry your way out of something. This is not the time to, to throw the towel in and say that you're too weak. This is the time for you to own your gift, for you to say, yes, I've emotionally invested in some different avenues, but at this point, I can no longer uphold these visions without equal distri distribution, okay? That's how I feel for my Pisces sun and moon viewers. I hope that this message resonates with you. I am going to pull an angel message for your last little bit just to kind of tie in this reading and hopefully it'll add more clarity for those of you who are still a little confused. We're doing the eight card spread. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. We are offering personal readings. We do 30 minutes at 25 and 60 at 55. If you're interested, please reach out, reach out at mergingtimelines at yahoo.com. All right, let's see my Pisces sun and moon viewers. Ooh, the angel of surrender. All right, see, I surrender joyfully to God's love in my heart. When we surrender to our soul's guidance, we realize that the greater picture of our lives we realize the greater picture of our lives. So surrendering to our soul's guidance. <clears throat> and our soul's guidance, Pisces, is what you're the most gifted at. The intuition, following the inner voice, the high priestess, you know, quieting the sounds around you, <clears throat> realizing that the passions are within because the vision is within. And when you put the two together and you get them moving, then you start to see, oh, I can see it. I can feel it. Maybe I can feel it if I can see it. And then at that point, you can ground it. <clears throat> Where we went there, I have no idea. But moving on to your message again, the angel of surrender. We also become aware of the help we receive to be free from burdens of the past or from negative energies that prevent us from seeing our inner truth or strength and beauty. When we consciously surrender to the soul within, we can easily forgo all else with simplicity and whenever necessary. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. But I think that was a very beautiful message for you. I think the future, as you're trying to decide how do I use these sterile tools, knowing that they're the right tools, just not quite ready to unravel them, fear of you know, contaminating them, let me just put them off to the side. There's something that I need to work on before I feel at ease about jumping the cliff, okay? So, Again, thank you for allowing me to be a clear and open channel for your divine guidance today, Pisces. I appreciate you. Each and every Wednesday is going to be water signs, Cancers, Pisces, and Scorpios. Please stay tuned with us and, and let us know. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you do, you do not like, so that way we can come back and help you. Maybe appease you the way you appease so many other people. All right, handle your gift with care. Bye. Mm -hmm.